couldn't find a place to start. I'll do what you do between my head and heart. Alright, guys, I'm doing a little quick video. Um, I'm fixing the brake pedal on the G920. Don't mind the tools I'm using. I'll probably go downstairs in my garage to get the right tools. So, we want to loosen this screw right here that I'm pulling. Oh, you see it. You want to pop. Alright, so you want to loosen the screw right here. This is be glue like that. This should be new, so it should look like, just like this. Well, like that. And then you want to loosen the other side, I believe. There's another one. Mind you, I just got this steering wheel today. I just came in the mail today. So, um, that's, it shows you how bad that... Yeah, like I was saying, I just got the steering wheel today. So it shows you that how bad this steering wheel is, I mean the pedal is built, the brake. Because I already wanted to pull it up and take this thing out of it. But it's pretty weird how they put that in there. Because there's so many complaints about it and then they still make the same steering wheel with the um same thing. With the rubber in it still. Like I was saying, it goes down, but then it stops like right there. It won't go down more because the rubber piece in there that like stiffens it. But in real life, I drove plenty of cars and no brake feels like that. Unless you're driving the car where um, the, like the, the engine is off and everything. And there's no brake boost or anything. So the pedal is going to be hard. But when the car is running, no car feels like that. So I'm going to definitely take this out right now. I'm going to take a little, not really a little while. It's not going to take too long, but uh, once I get the screw out, it should be pretty simple. Because I tried and I realized that you have to pull the steering wheel, the pedal apart, no matter what you do. So I'm going to begin pulling the screws on the bottom of the thing. Of the, I'm just pulling my second screw on the bottom of this. So, don't think I just bought the steering wheel and just pulling it apart. I've watched many videos on this. Alright guys, so I got the cover loose. What you want to do is take these three pedal screws off or whatever. I mean the six screws off of the pedals so you can take the three cover the three um pedal covers off so i'm gonna take them off so i got all three of them off real quick with using the right tool instead of using a single allen key and you want to be careful when you let this off because the wires are all attached to that so there's a little rubber piece that's in the back of here what i'm gonna do is remove this and take it out when you remove the cover the spring is in there you want to take with the spring i mean not really you don't need to be careful that's in there. And the little rubber piece is right here. Hold on. This is a rubber piece. You want to take that out. That's, you don't need that. That's, it makes the pedal like under, like crazy hard for no reason. That sounds really wrong, but yeah, it does. Little short screws like that that you want to put back in there. It goes on the side. So I pull back one of the screws. I still have to catch back the other one. And then I can put the cover back down and putting like a thousand screws that's right there. Back in. That's my regular shift knob I removed too. I should have did a video on that too, but I didn't sadly. But today is Monday Labor Day guys, so you probably have this video maybe Wednesday-ish, depending on if I feel like editing two videos tonight. Cause editing, you can't just edit the video, you have to sit there, edit, and then wait for it to um, export and all that crap. So that sometimes that's the longest part of it. But I'll try though, I'm bored tonight I guess, if I'm not on Xbox. I'm trying to catch this last screw right here. Hold on. Can't do it. With the converter for this, when you take down the clutch and everything, it works perfect. But then when you go from like first gear to second, it wouldn't go through neutral. It will just stay in whatever gear until you hit the next gear. So it will go straight to second. It wouldn't stop in neutral. That's why like the actual, when you got the actual steering wheel, like the whole setup. So you don't have to use the converter. Because I'm not using any converter anymore. Because this is the G920, which is made for Xbox One, so I don't have to use the Max Race converter, which is probably gonna be for sale. So you can comment if you need it. I'll sell it for really cheap, probably like 50 bucks. I paid like one something for it. Let me know. And also, my G25 is for sale too. Let me know. I probably I could do a deal on that and sell it with the steering wheel for like one something ish. Just let me know. And it's pretty old, so I might just sit in my attic and not sell at all. But I don't care. Come on, got a big attic. Got a big attic. So. Just putting back these two screws in here. And then I could drop on this cover and then cover back up and get back to playing fours like I was doing. 
and a lot of all my friends are not even playing because I'm busy doing this. But I'll show y'all a picture or whatever a video. That I, when I'm done putting on this, I'm gonna show y'all the shifter. Like the shift knob I put on and everything. I, mean, I like putting the shift, the shift knob on because it like resembles a short shifter. You can see it. Yeah, the steering wheel. Yeah, I was on for it. Yeah. Alright guys, hold on. After you do that, you want to flip it back over. Oh lord. The cover just fell off. <laughs> you flip it back over and put the cover back on. I was suggest testing if all the things work. Oh wait, you have to put back this quarter in the slot, so you have to be careful with that. So you through, just so the cover doesn't fall off. Remember them? And then that's about it. This little rubber piece is the piece that I got out. I'm going to show you what's the difference when I'm done. Alright guys, so if you have noticed, there is two screws that still left these two uh these two and they go down in between there oh well, you can't see it anyway they go down into there i'm sorry you can't see it because i'm blocking the light but yeah they fall right in between there which is gonna be hard to all right guys so i got the pedals back on i didn't put the screws in yet i'm gonna show you that the shorter screws the shorter screws um they go back here Go right there. And I mix max the pedals. I put the brake pedal. Anyways, I put the brake pedal on. Put the brake pedal on this side. That way, because it's higher. The brake pedal on. Like what I was saying, the brake pedal on this setup is higher than the clutch. But I wanted the clutch to stay higher, so I put the brake pedal that used to be right here on this side where the clutch is, so it can sit higher. You see. Let me put these screws in and then get back to you. Alright, I got the, sorry, I got the, um, everything done. Pedals are not wiggling, I think I tightened them just the right amount. You don't want to tighten anything on this too much because it's plastic and it will crack if you tighten too much. And the screws, the screws are pretty durable, but the plastic isn't too, so I would suggest it. So the brake pedal will go all the way down now without hitting the little rubber piece that was in there, which is right there. Everybody needs that. Take it out. It's definitely worth the time. And yeah.